It's mid-March. The winter months are now behind us. The days are getting longer. Spring is finally here. This means up and down the country, silverfish qualifiers and leagues are now all finishing up. One of these competitions is the Angling Trust Zero Fit Silverfish, with 33 anglers earning an invite to the grand final. Now this event has a prize pot of 10,000 pounds, with a first prize 5,000 pounds to the winner. We're back where the final took place, Barston Lakes, with this year's winner, Steve Hemingway. And Steve has agreed to share with us his winning rigs and tactics that earned him this prestigious title. So Steve, great to see you again. What made you decide to fish these Angling Trust Zero Fit qualifiers? Yeah, they're great matches all over the country, attract the best anglers from, from everywhere and, you know, fishing with the best. Yeah, you're not kidding. I see in the final that there was uh, former world champions, Fishermania and match this winners. It really was a who's who of anglers. Yeah, and that's what I like to do really, you know, compete against the best and try and raise your own level. So the final this year held at the fantastic Barston Lakes. Do you know this venue very well? Well, it's a place I used to fish a lot years and years ago, but um, last 10 years, I don't, I don't think I've fished it once. So it was a case of re-familiarising and uh, seeing what I could do. Did you have a plan or did you have to come down and practice a lot? Well, I spoke to a few of my friends, people I know, I know fish it regularly and I fished it a bit in the winter. Um, formulated a little bit of a, a plan that might work and then I came down here and had a practice, fished the practice match, fine-tuned a thing, few things to suit my my way if you like and um, yeah took it from there really. What you're saying is uh, practice was a big part of your preparation towards the final then? Like any matches really I mean you, you put you get out of it what you put into it so yeah I came down here practiced a little bit ironed a few things out crossed a few things off that ended up not working at all in practice and um, got it about right on the on the main day. Once formulating a plan then and targeting certain species, I'm guessing you were aiming at roach and skimmers? Yeah, uh, mainly roach, well obviously roach and skimmers, but obviously you've got to catch the right size as well to build the, the, the bigger weight, so really aiming to catch the bigger skimmers. These bigger skimmers, what are they, a pound and a half, two pound fish? What you found really, there was like a group of fish that was six to 10 ounce, and then the 10 ounce to a pound and a half, as, and you know, to get yourself the sort of weight you were going to need to win, you really needed to be catching and you know the bigger stampers, the pound and overs. So come the day of the match, well and in practice, how did you manage to catch these better stamp fish? Yeah, well I played around a little bit with, with ground bait and a lot of people caught on pellets on the Friday so obviously the fish were eating pellets so some better stamp fish caught like that and I decided not to feed any ground bait and just to feed micro pellets and maggots. So by deciding to fish micro pellets and maggots, what sort of volumes of bait did you actually take to your peg come the final day? One of the keys to it was obviously the loose feeding maggots over the top and I did take five or six pints just in case I needed to use that volume of bait. A um, couple of pints of micro pellets. I did feed some ground bait and worms on a shorter line, you know, which produced nothing. But um, yeah, that was about it really. Like any match, I'm guessing the start was the all important part. How did you start? I fed half a cup full of micro pellets, half a cup full of maggots. Uh, fed me shorter line with my ground bait and worms. And then started with a kinder on, uh, kindering maggots and pellets, and then loose feeding over the top as well, every chip out. So rigs, Steve. Was it a, a case of a, a standard skimmer rig where you have a bolt down and a couple of droppers? No, I fished it slightly different from that. Basically, I had rigs from 0.2 of a gram to 0.75 uh, with strung out shot, you know, in the last foot or so. Um, like a bolt, but a strung out bulk. And then I'm guessing, was it just a case of laying a couple of inches of line on the bottom or? Yeah, well, I started the match off like that. Um, I didn't have a bite for an hour, but once I started to catch a few fish, I just felt it was just, it was towing through and it was just nicking the bottom a bit too much for me. So I shallowed up to dead depth and really this was the key moment. And I, you know, I believe that that's, this is the reason I, I went on to win because the difference was monumental. It was just like a light bulb moment. All of a sudden I was catching one every single put in. 
So very similar then to how you've actually fished today. Yeah, it's just started off by a big pot at the start, half and half, maggots and micros, then started the match with the kinder. Again, half maggots, half micros, and then just loose feeding around it. And once I started to really put a few fish together, it was a case of just taking the kinder off and just loose feeding. One thing that was clear today, Steve, was that when you were catapulting your bait out, it was definitely dropping short of your float. Was this on purpose? Yeah, and now and again, I will put some round the float, but in general, I want to be feeding past it to keep the bulk of the fish feeding just short, and then I can pick them off without getting too many foul hookers and things just past. Now we all know that Barston is renowned for its silverfish catches, but did you expect to catch 68 pound of silverfish come the final? The day before on the practice match, there was a, a 90 and a few weights over 60. So, you know, it was on the cards. Obviously it's had a day of pressure, so it was going to dip a bit, but yeah, it's a, it's a great venue, Barston, and it, it, it produced the goods on the day again. Well, considering you've had the cameras on you all day, you really have replicated how you fished in the final perfectly. It's even been better, to be honest. I've probably caught more than I did in the final. Well, seriously well done. One brilliant achievement. Yet another trophy for your mantelpiece. Well done, Steve Emigre. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>